Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I want to talk to you about one of my favorite topics, which is autophagy. So, um, I just had the, uh, the real honor yesterday to have an incredible conversation with Naomi Whittle. Um, if you're not familiar with Naomi Whittle, go check out her Glow 15 book. I interviewed her on Resetter TV, and the whole topic was about autophagy. And she has this obsession with autophagy. I have an obsession with autophagy. I know a lot of you guys are like, this is so cool. How do I stimulate more autophagy? So what I wanted to do on today's video is really bring to your attention three major things you need to know about autophagy in order to tap into this incredible uh, healing mechanism that your miraculous body was born with. So get ready, okay? So first thing, autophagy in the most simple sense is your body's ability to self-detox. So remember that we have assisted detoxing and we have self-detoxing. So assisted is where you're gonna use like supplements and those of you who've done our heavy metal, obviously that would be ass assisted. But what we learned from Dr. Osumi, and, and Naomi mentioned a couple of other people that have been doing some research on humans on autophagy, is that when you stimulate autophagy, you are literally stimulating this intelligence inside your cells that says, hey, we need to clean this cell up. We need to get in here and we need to get the toxins out. We need to repair uh, different parts of this cell so that this cell can perform better. It can live longer. So I look at it a little bit like if there was like a messy, your house was a mess and you brought in a cleaning crew. What the cleaning crew is gonna do is they're gonna go in and they're gonna be like, we need to clean this room, we need to clean this room, we need to scrub the floors, we need to vacuum, we need to clean, get the dust, and it's gonna have a, a, a plan for, read, for cleaning out your house. Well, your cells have that same wisdom, that same intention inside of them. And it's not called a cleaning crew, it's called autophagy. And so when you stimulate autophagy, think of it as cellular cleanup. It's a cellular process to repair your, your cells so that they live longer, which means you'll slow down the aging process and so that it, you can reduce inflammation with autophagy. Um, there, you can stimulate healing with autophagy. Think about how you feel when you clean your house up. Don't you feel calmer in your mind? You, you, you enjoy being there longer? Well, that's what's happening when you stimulate autophagy um, through many of the ways that we teach here on this channel. Okay, so it's self-repair, self-detox, and it's a, it's, a, it's a flippin' miracle. Like your body is so, built so miraculously. Like it is truly amazing that we have this intelligence inside our bodies. So I just I geek out on that because we're not taught enough about how powerful our body can be. And autophagy is the beginning of us all understanding this. Okay, second thing. This was so cool when I talked to Naomi. Fasting is one way to stimulate autophagy, but guess what? There's a lot of ways to stimulate autophagy that it, you don't always have to go after fasting. So she and I, in our conversation, we actually talked about chocolate. She's like, did you know that chocolate can stimulate autophagy? I just did a video uh, the other day uh, about sleep. Her thing was like, sleep is one of the best ways to stimulate autophagy. So we know HIIT training, we know red light therapy. I've done a lot of videos here, so go and, and you can go watch those videos. So fasting is amazing. And 16 hours of fasting, incredible for autophagy, and that will keep the autophagy going. If you continue your fast two, three, four days, more autophagy. But don't lose sight of sleep can control autophagy, chocolate, and I'm gonna do a video on, ch on chocolate and autophagy, so make sure you subscribe and you get that uh, a notification when I put that video out. I'm really excited to do some research on that. But chocolate can stimulate autophagy, um, HIIT training, I mean, we have so many things. So don't always dip into the fasting bucket for autophagy, know that there's some other things you can do, okay? So second thing. Now here's the third thing. I think those of us, as we're aging, we have a tendency to learn these principles and go, okay, so if autophagy is so cool, why don't I do it all the time? Like, I know I'm turning 50 next month, 
And if I could do e you know, everything I could do to like slow the aging process down, I'm pretty excited to do that. Um, but it doesn't mean that I start stimulating autophagy all the time. And Naomi and I talked about this, and I think it's such an important uh, point. So your, everything in the, in the human body works best in cycles. It's very much like nature. We have summer, we have fall, we have winter, we have spring. We have night, we have day. In women, we have a, a menstrual cycle. Like we work in cycles. Uh, all humans have a circadian rhythm where we get cortisol in the morning to give us energy and we get melatonin at night to make us sleep. So just because we love autophagy doesn't mean we should stimulate it all the time. We should actually balance autophagy with something called mTOR. And mTOR is where we're getting a lot of cell growth and the cells are dividing quickly. And mTOR helps us build muscle. It's great, you can stimulate mTOR through things like protein load days. And I've done some videos on that. And then you can, you can counterbalance that with autophagy. So autophagy is, is that cellular repair. mTOR is cellular growth. So don't get too rigid in thinking that you gotta always go down the autophagy path. I would say that, you know, um, I like, if I look at my lifestyle with fasting, um, I'm pretty much trying to stimulate autophagy anywhere from like three to five days out of the week. But then I do a lot of feasting, as you know from watching my channel, and I do a lot of protein feasting to try to stimulate mTOR. I do some hormone feasting to balance my hormones. Hit training. I love hit training, but I balance hit training with yoga and I balance it with a longer walk or a hike. So just make sure you don't get so excited about autophagy that you feel like you need to be in autophagy all the time. That's not the goal. The goal is to cycle it with other techniques. So, and I'll, and I'll do more on this here on YouTube, okay? So that's kind of what you need to know about autophagy. Bottom line, it's super cool. There's so many amazing things your body will do when you hit these states of autophagy. It's not, second thing is it's not all about fasting. You can start looking into cocoa and you could look, try sleeping a little more to stimulate it. And the goal is not to always be in autophagy. So those of you that wanna join me in my women's reset, this is what I do in that program is I take you through a 15 day experience of how to use all the fasting principles, the feasting principles, how do you vary all these amazing tools? And we talk a ton about autophagy and I'll walk you through that. You get to experience it in your body. Um, I think when you're watching a video like this, it's just coming into the head, into the mind, but you're not experiencing it. So with the Women's Reset, what I do is I take small groups of women through the process of diet variation, fasting variation, feasting, eating for your hormones, stimulating mTOR, we're gonna go through all that. So if you wanna join me in that, just put Women's Reset. And those of you guys here on my channel, thank you so much for just being awesome fans and giving me great feedback. If you find this helpful, just put helpful so that I know this is how I can customize these videos for you. If there's a topic you want me to talk about, let me know that too. So as always, from the bottom of my heart, I just hope these videos change your life and impact you in such a deep way. So. Have an awesome day. Hey, Dr. Mindy here. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it out to the world. I'm trying to get really cutting edge health information into people's hands. And if you wanna see more videos like this, just subscribe to my channel and you'll get updates as to when I go live and new videos that I put out there. Every Thursday, by the way, I do a live video from here and answer your questions. So if there are questions you want me to answer, join me then and I'll make sure that I address them. Thanks, have an awesome day.